you're really kind of getting the best of both worlds. Hey guys. Now this is gonna be super interesting because we're gonna be working on another 3D puzzle, but I'm not talking about like your typical 3D puzzles, kind of like what we've done here before. I'm talking about a 3D puzzle with actual jigsaw puzzle pieces. So Pintu Puzzles threw me another message asking if I would be interested in trying some of their 3D puzzles. And I was like, uh, yeah, of course. So not only did they let me choose one set, they actually let me pick out two. We are going to be putting together two of the Pintu Puzzle Vases. Vases. Vases? You know what I mean. The first one here is called Flowers and Birds. It is 160 pieces and it is 4.4 by 4.4 by 9.5 inches when it's completed. And like always, Pintu does offer their missing piece replacement service, which is fantastic. You'll never be sad if you're missing a piece in this puzzle set. But anyways, the puzzle vase sets are divided into four packs of 40 pieces. The box also has information on what's included in your set. And what I also really love about this is that Pintu gives you tips on how to put your boss together. Now these particular sets do come with the stand for the boss. And it even comes with the water cup so that you can actually use this for real flowers. Pintu think of everything. And the other set that I have here is called Elegant Floral Print. It's also 160 pieces and it is 4.4 by 4.4 by 9.5 inches when it's completed. And again, the puzzle pieces are divided into four separate packs with 40 pieces in each. But yeah, out of the selection that they had from the vases, vases, anyways, these two images were my favorite. I really love the design of both of these images. I really love how nice and sleek the black one looks. They both have like that floral design. These seriously look like a work of art. Look at that bird. Looks like he's having a conversation with the butterfly. That's cute. And again, what I love about this is that your puzzle pieces are pretty much typical puzzle pieces, but these are curved pieces. This is super exciting. I can't wait to see how curved these shapes are. And obviously I guess that depends where you are on the vase itself. But I do wonder if I'm gonna get that satisfying snap sound I usually get with pin two puzzles. But if not, that's okay. Hit the like button if you've actually tried one of Pintu's 3D puzzles. And if you did, let me know down below which sets you've completed. I think I'm gonna have an amazing time with these. You're really kind of getting the best of both worlds. You're building a 3D puzzle, but you're kind of using your typical jigsaw pieces, which both are fun, but I've never tried it like this before. But you know what? I really don't think I have much else to say aside from I really want to hurry and open these up because I want to see what these are going to look like in the end. So let's get started. All right, let's open up our first set here. They do include a thank you card and oh, win free puzzles through Lucky Draw every month. That's cool. All right, let's see what's inside. All right, we have our bags, cute. Oopsie. So here is our puzzle stand, nicely wrapped in plastic. I'm gonna leave it in the bag until I'm ready for it. We'll just put that on the side for now. We have another bag here that includes the water cup so that you can put in real flowers. And we have the lower base and the top ring of the vase, which is what secures the whole thing in place. So we're gonna put that on the side as well till we're ready for that. And here are our puzzle pieces. Oh my gosh, look at that. And Pintu has basically laid out the steps on the completion process, which makes life lots easier. Let's open up bag one. So again, each bag has 40 pieces and check out the curve on these. It's clear on one side and on the front is the actual puzzle print. Look at how clear that print is. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, the level of detail in each of these pieces. These colors are in no way dull. They're super vibrant. Look at those pinks. 
And all Pintu puzzles, again, are plastic. This is super solid, like always. And of course, fantastic, no puzzle dust. Now these definitely do have a shinier finish than the flat Jexol puzzles from Pintu. So yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of glare here, but again, I'm not fussed about it because I mean, come on, look at the detail on this. So yeah, this is gonna be very interesting. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna fit together. Is it gonna make a satisfying snap sound? I don't know. I hope so, but if not, I'm not going to be mad because I know that when I'm completely finished with this vase, it's going to look absolutely amazing. Now remember, we're also going to be completing this set as well, but it has the exact same contents as the other one, of course. So we're not going to open this one right now. What we're going to do is, I'm going to complete this first vase, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to immediately get started with this one because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be too excited. I'm not gonna wanna stop. And then in the end, we'll put flowers in our puzzle vase. All right, guys, let's get started. I've actually just finished the first vase as I am recording this video. So what I wanna do right now is with using the second set that I have here, I just wanna give you a closer look as to what you are dealing with in the beginning stages of this puzzle and obviously throughout the rest of it. But this is the bottom base of your ring. This is basically where the whole thing connects to. And as you can see here, we have all these little, I guess you would call them grooves or notches. And what you're supposed to do is from your first bag, well, actually all the bags have, I believe two or three pieces that connect to the bottom, but you're gonna have these pieces that are flat on the bottom and they do have this little, bit that sticks out and that is basically supposed to connect to your ring here so as you can see here and you can pretty much start anywhere these kind of slide into place and they snap in I'm sure you heard that snap I have to tell you spoiler alert this puzzle does have a nice snapping sound to it so let's do that again here we're gonna connect the bottom bit first did you hear that and then these two are gonna just kind of automatically set into itself right there and to be quite honest, even though the box does tell you, well, according to this image here, to put the whole section together before you snap it in place, I did find that to be a little difficult because I had a bit of a hard time trying to keep the whole section in one piece whilst I was trying to figure out how to snap these in place. So my recommendation, honestly, is kind of just start your section from the base. Snap your bottom pieces in, and once those are nice and secured in place, it's going to be much easier for you to kind of hold the whole thing and just kind of work your way up on the whole section. And then when you get to the next bag, you just continue on to the next two and then build your way up the whole vase. And I just, again, I found that a bit easier as I went along through um, this vase. It really did take me till I got to the second bag to kind of get in the hang of the best way of putting this together. And once you kind of get into the groove or the rhythm of piecing it together, it, it's very easy. So again, to start it, you could just go about putting bag number one together first and then snapping into place. Or what I personally prefer is start at the bottom, right on the base, and then build your way up from there and then move along with the bags. And it just kind of just goes around in a circle and builds up at the same time. I mean, I don't know, that's just, that, I feel like that's how my brain and hands work best. So, you know, you, you can do what's best for you in the end. So yeah, this was pretty interesting at times because really this is not something that you can just go all willy nilly with. You can't really just go about putting whatever pieces and whatever sections you want at any time. Pintu did put tips on the box for a reason, and that's pretty much for you to really have the best experience possible. And again, yes, I was new to this type of puzzling experience, so I was obviously overly excited at times, especially at the start, because with my first vase, I just wanted to put whatever pieces in whatever section I wanted to. And the box literally said that joining larger sections may be difficult as they are curved. Try building by taking individual pieces to join the larger sections, you silly, silly person. It didn't say that last part, but it probably would have if it knew who it was going to. 
you really need to piece in order by row and then work your way up. And I hope that makes sense and that you can actually see this in the time lapse. And if you look closely, there are instances where I didn't follow that pattern of assembly and then the pieces would just fall right off. All these pieces support each other. So if you just place a piece towards the top of the vase without the bottom area completed, it's obviously gonna fall off. I didn't know why I didn't think of that at the time. I don't really feel like I can blame the puzzle for this because it was just my own stubbornness for not following what the box actually said. Just follow that tip and you'll be fine. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you can either start it by connecting the two bottom pieces to the base and then work your way up or do the whole section like it says in the box and then attach it to the base. It's up to you, whatever you find easier. But please do make sure you give your hands a break too because I, for some reason, kept getting cramps in my hands. I guess from the way I was supporting and holding the vase by the base, which to me was, you know, the best way to hold it without messing up or moving any pieces out of place. But my goodness, what's my problem? Why was I holding it so intensely that I gave myself cramps in my hands? Has that ever happened to you? Or do I just need to exercise my muscles more or something? That's a bit strange. Now, as I would press my fingers back around each completed section, side note, which is something you should do before you move on to the next area, just to make sure all the pieces are securely in place. But anyways, I couldn't help but constantly admire the beauty of the image appearing before my eyes. And because you're not provided a full reference image to work with, it's almost a little bit of a surprise as you continue to piece it together. And don't think because you don't have a full reference image that it was difficult to piece together. It was actually very easy and simple to figure out. You really don't need any separate poster or image to reference from. The detail on the print was so clear and the colors are so rich. And in terms of the very glossy finish on the pieces, really, it's, it's just meant to be because it's a vase. They're supposed to be shiny, like they're made out of glass or porcelain or anything that can shatter, really. But you don't even have to worry about this one shattering, of course, because it's plastic and it's a puzzle. Just piece it back together if anything horrendous happens to it. You can't do that with glass, which is nice. And this is pin too, so you know I had to come up with another snapping montage. Oh yeah, you will hear that every now and then while you're putting this together. Now, once you've pieced all the contents of the bag together, the next thing you have to do is snap the upper ring to the top of the vase. But you might have the top pieces kind of force themselves out if they're not evenly placed, but just simply push them back in place gently and keep applying a downward pressure on the ring till it snaps into the grooves. And you'll also know that the ring is securely in place just by seeing if the white trim that's on the top of the puzzle pieces are not visible. Then insert the water cup from the bottom till it stops and then slightly turn it in either direction to lock it in place. Then to finish it off, place the vase on the pretty base that's also provided to you. And find a good spot in your home to show off this awesome piece of art or puzzle. Now, I tried to get a real cool shot of me pouring water into the vase, you know, without me in the shot. And I ended up pouring water everywhere else instead of inside the cup. So of course the water that didn't make it into the cup kind of leaked out of the puzzle. But I just removed the cup to kind of like dry it up inside as best I could and put the cup back in and stop trying. So yeah, don't do that. I'm pretty sure if I was actually looking at where I was pouring, it would have gotten into the cup. But anyways, I tried to get a cool shot and I failed miserably. But that's okay. This puzzle's waterproof anyways. And yeah, I know my flower is dry, but it's from Mother's Day and that's all I had. The first set took me about one hour to complete and the second one only took me about 45 minutes to complete because by the second one, I had my routine down and felt like an expert already. 
With the first one, you know, I was just getting in the hang of it. But this was a lot of fun, and it poses a nice little challenge if it's something you've never done before. Overall, I found this to be a great experience. Yes, it was a bit tricky to get the pieces in place at times, but once you get into the rhythm of whatever beginning steps you decide to take, it's very simple. And yes, I got some cramps in my hands, but overall, I guess I'm just out of shape. Because, yes, even your hand muscles could use exercise. But maybe that's just me. It's not the puzzle's fault. It was really fun to put together, and I highly recommend you try one of these 3D puzzle sets from Pintu. I'm gonna leave a link to their store down below, along with the links for these two sets that I completed, in case any of you want to pick up something special for yourself or for someone else. And if you do, let me know which set you end up snagging. And like always, feel free to share your experience with Pintu 3D Puzzles. If you want to see what else I end up trying throughout my puzzle journey, be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Anyways guys, thank you for hanging out with me, happy puzzling, and I will see you in the next one.